Hello YouTube, this is Dark Emissary 617 and today I'm doing my review of the Nickelodeon Funko Pops from the RL Monster series. This will include Ickis, Oblina, and Crumb. Before I begin, I'm going to quickly go over the boxes as you see here. Ickis is number 222. Oblina is 223. And Crumb is 224. If they will, if they were to make more Funko Pops for the series, I hope they make maybe the Grumble, and maybe even Zimbo and Simon the Monster Hunter. Let's start off with Ickis. Um, Ickis here is generally known as like the main character of the show. Otherwise, Oblina would be the main character. They kind of pass it around each time. The gimmick with Ickis is that he's known for a looming, which means he basically enlarges himself and scares humans. And he kind of does look like a bunny rabbit. I can see why he gets tired of that, but he does kind of with those ears. He has the nice purple skin that he's known for having and had like almost like these puffer fish like lips, which would explain the bloating he does in the show. He has the yellow eyes and has an elf-like body because of his body looking like a skirt and those elf-like shoes for feet. He can stand up just fine on his own without the base, but can have stability issues and is the only one with head articulation. But he does come with the base at least, and is the only one to come with the base. Next up is Oblina. I like her design. She looks like an upside down candy cane or even like a umbrella handle which she, she actually does that to scare humans with. Her gimmick is that she pulls out her internal organs out of her mouth to scare humans or can even shapeshift occasionally. I also like a color palette. The black and white kind of remind me of Beetlejuice because, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> Beetlejuice has black and white for sure. And I like how she had, she actually looks like a Tim Burton creature, to be honest. And she has her nice green eyes and the big puffy red lips that she's known for. And it kind of looks like it's uh, annoyingly, because it's placed in that way, it looks like it could come off, which I hope it doesn't. The only reason why it's kind of ironic is there was an episode where she did lose her lips. She has a little bit of hair on her head and on her tail. And... She's a pretty nice looking pop. She does have some stability issues because her feet are kind of like, I don't know why, they don't stand perfectly straight, flat on the floor. But overall, she's pretty nice. And for my least favorite, he's not because he crumbs bad, but he's just not as cool as the other two in my opinion. First issue, Crumb's eyes are just pure black. See, the others at least follow the color palette of what they do. Ickis had like the yellow eyes and tiny little black dots, while um, Oblina, she had the green eyes with the kind of like cat or serpent-like eyes. Crumb just had bl white eyes with little black dots for eyes. Here, they just made his eyes completely black, and I would have preferred if they actually just made the eyes the way they looked in the show. It wouldn't be that difficult. He has his big nose, and he looks a lot more tan than he does in the show. Like... My camera makes him look like the color he should be, but he's a lot more tan and darker. But I understand why, because should be told in some moments in the show, he actually was the darker color for some reason. It's like a shading thing. Anyways, he has this big blue lips here with the teeth that are also like light blue. He has a lot of hair all over his body. He's very hairy. His special gimmick is, one, he's known for being the only monster to not have a head. He has to hold on to his eyeballs the whole time, or he puts in his mouth temporarily. And also, his ultimate gimmick was that he had a really bad odor. Like, you could tell from his armpit hair, which is nice that they molded to be accurate. And he just was very stinky. That was his biggest gimmick. And he has his little stubby feet, which are accurate. And overall, these pops are very accurate to how they were in the look in the show, and I do recommend picking up these three. They're very nice pops, and 
I very much enjoyed watching the show again. It was a lot of fun, and these are some very cool-looking pops. I also decided to do this video because not only did I just have them, but I also noticed that nobody has done a review to actually thoroughly look at all three at the same time. From what I can tell. So, anyways, I highly recommend you pick these up, and overall, these are great pops. So, that's my review for the Nickelodeon RL Monsters pops. And this is Dark and Mysterious 617 signing out.